Welcome back. Professional boxing is a very tough sport, and the Sun Coast is home to one of the most bravest men on planet Earth. That's because he did get into the ring against Mike Tyson, among so many others. ABC 7 sports anchor James Hill sat down with the local boxing legend today in Manatee County. And tonight he does tell us about David Jaco's bravery and why his boxing story is so different than so many others. David Jaco is a Hall of Fame boxer and he lives right here on the Sun Coast. He describes fighting Iron Mike Tyson, George Foreman, and many other top ranked heavyweight champions. Check out this ABC7 Sports Desk exclusive. David Jaco's boxing career spans from 1981 through 1994. During his pro boxing career, he faced some of the best known fighters of all time. Jaco says his career was built on taking fights at the last minute. They called me to fight Iron Mike Tyson on a week's notice. How do you get ready for a 19-year-old Mike Tyson? <laughs> it don't make no sense, does it? What does make sense is his strategy, performance, and victory over Donovan Razor Ruddick. Jaco says this victory is one of his best. So I went out there, I rope a dope for five rounds. And sure enough, by fifth round, he got tired, and I whipped his butt to six and seven. You can Google it on the Internet. It's on there, that fight. But I whipped his butt so bad, when the eighth round come, he goes across me. He said, no mahas, no mahas. He didn't want me no more. Jaco says he stayed in the boxing game as long as he could. He's proud of his accomplishments inside the ring. I fought my last fight at 39, which is pretty old for a fighter, you know. I didn't turn pro until I was 25 with no amateur experience. I won my first 12 fights, specific club fighters. I whipped their butt. I was a tough dude. During David Jaco's pro boxing career, he won 24 fights in 50 matches. He says he's proud to be recognized by the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame. Reporting in the studio, I'm James Hill with ABC7, your local station.